Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 1, JavaScript function, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the function in JavaScript. So, a function, it is a block of reusable code. So, here is the advantage of using a function. A function allows to write the code once and use it many times as we want just by calling the function. And here comes the syntax. The JavaScript function syntax looks like this. We have to first call with the function keyword, followed with the function name and the parenthesis. And within the parenthesis, if you need, you can, pa you can pass the parameters. And within this curly braces, we are going to write our function statements. And coming to the next slide, and use the function keyword to define a function followed by the name of the function. And the name of the function should be followed by the parenthesis, as you can observe here. And the function parameters are optional. Here we have two parameters to this function, multiply numbers, first number and second number. And these parameters are optional. So without wasting much time, let us learn like how to create a simple function. It's very simple. So let me jump into Visual Studio code. And here I have a HTML page with the script diag ready. So how do you define a function? I have to make use of function keyword. Then let me define my function name as fun print name and ending up with parenthesis. Then the curly braces. Here I have to write what this function has to execute. This function has to just print a pop up message telling like hello Sam. End up with semicolon. And now what I'll do is I need to call this function. So how do I call this function? I need to call the function with its name that is print name okay in this manner so what I'm doing right now is I'm defining a function and I'm calling that function in my 12th line so what is the output I'm going to get I'm going to get a pop-up message telling like hello Sam so what I need to do is I need to navigate to the folder where I have saved this page and here comes the folder when I double click on that you can observe very clearly it is navigating us to Chrome browser and here comes a pop-up message telling like hello Sam so this is a very simple function without parameter it's a parameterless function so now what I'll do is let me take another example okay here what I'll do is I'll just pass a parameter called name okay and I'm ending up with I'm calling that parameter again in my name and to this okay you can, you can observe here this function is not a very simple plain function this function is a para parameter function so you take parameters the parameter name is name so while calling this method I have to pass the parameter value so I'm going to pass right now as Sam sorry so let me remove this right now here so when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe we are getting hello Sam so if I need to call if I need to call keep in mind if I need to call for other names if I wish so I can just call that m method or a function and I have to change the value here it's like uh, Brandon we do control s let me go back and let me refresh we'll get two alert message one is hello Sam and the other one is hello Brandon this is how what we are doing right now is we are making this code reusability code reusable again and again just by calling the function and we are passing a different parameter this is the advantage of using a function as per the definition like function a function is a block of reusable code so we are reusing our code just to print different names here so let us take the example which is present in my slide as of now so here you can observe what this function is doing is it's multiplying two numbers and the function name is multiple numbers and it is returning the result so let me show you that also it's very simple so let me remove this as of now so let me create a function function name is multiply number or it let it be numbers and let me just pass like this so what I'll do here I'll just take a variable and it is result so before that I need to take two parameters parameter names are first number and second number so what I'll do is I'll just copy this and this is second number What I'm doing is I'm just returning result so what I'll do is I'll just call that function okay that is multiply numbers I need to pass two values 10 comma 5 so let me store this let me assign this method 
to something called res okay then I have to alert that res let me do control s let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe we are getting the output as 50 so what we have done in my code is I'm just defining a function the name is multiply numbers it's taking two parameters first number and last number and within the curly braces I'm returning two st I'm writing two sentences what are these sentences doing it's a con uh, these sentences are taking the values from this parameters and multiplying it and the result is stored in the result uh, variable and I'm just returning this function is just returning this result variable which holds the value so what I'm doing in my 13th line is I'm just calling this function and attaching this function to a variable so the result will be stored in this res variable and I'm just alerting that so I'll get a pop-up message telling like 10 cross 5 is 50 so this is the output we are getting so this is how you'll create a method and it's very simple okay and now let me jump into the next slide so how do you call a function this I have already shown you right now calling the JavaScript function call the JavaScript function by specifying the name of the function and the values for the parameter if any in the sense here you can observe here this is what exactly we did right now uh, we have a method called multiply numbers and takes parameters so if, if it takes parameters just pass the value to the function where you're calling okay and this is printing on the document dot right what I'm doing right now is I'm just pushing it to the pop-up message that is alert instead of that we can do like we can do like print it on my web page directly with the help of this document dot this right method to control s now how do I get the output I get the output on the web page itself so who, who did that work is because of this document dot right method this, this right method is present in the document object so let me go back to my presentation and this is how you'll call the function and these are the key points you have to keep in mind the parameters that are missing the values are set to undefined so what I'll do is right now let me go back here and um, here I have two parameters so I need to pass two values instead of that I'll pass only one value what is the output I'm going to get let me check out it's very simple let me refresh okay we are getting something like n a n that is not a number let me go back here let me inspect my web page so what I'll do is I'll go to my source double click on this web page and what I'm doing is I'm keeping a breakpoint here as well so let me refresh the web page so what I'm doing is multiply numbers so let me step over next function Okay, it's coming here and it's calling so you can observe here the first numbers value is 10 and the second number we are not passing any value in this as a, as a parameter value we are not passing anything only we are passing the value to the first number that is 10 and the second to the second number we are not passing anything so if you don't pass okay the value to the second parameter then it will be considered as undefined so okay 10 cross undefined is always a nan that is not a number let me okay let me execute it yes here, 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 here you can observe okay here, here you can observe we got NAN why because a uh, number cross anything undefined will get the output as NAN so if you don't pass the parameter value okay if you if you have a two parameters right now we are passing only one parameter to the second parameter the value will be considered as undefined so this is what the meaning of the sentence the parameters that are missing values are set to undefined so when you specify too many parameter values to the calling function the extra parameters will be ignored what do you mean by this here I'm passing 10 cross 5 so the output we are going to get here is let me refresh again oh, so let me let me remove this breakpoints and let me go back to my original way and you, here you can observe let me refresh okay we are getting the output as 50 that's cool and now what I'll do is instead of pass here I have two parameters so I need to pass two values instead of that if I pass more values like 8 comma 9 what's gonna happen so let me go back and let me refresh still we'll get the output as 50 why because keep in mind when we specify too many parameters values to the calling function the extra parameter values will be ignored that's what we're doing right now I'm having okay two parameters so the first two will be attached to each of them like first number will have parameter will have 10 and the second par second number parameter will have 5 the rest of them will be ignored so that's the meaning of the sentence okay it's not compulsory that JavaScript function should always return a value it totally depends on what you want the function to do 
so what we are doing here is in my function I'm just re returning the result which holds the value which holds the result actually instead of doing like this what I can do is I'll just uh, like alert the result so this function itself itself is just printing the result so then there is no necessity of uh, calling this so your So what I'll do is let me go back and let me refresh 50 and we get undefined why because we let me remove this and let me add alert so let me go back and let me refresh again here you goes we got the output 50 and we are getting undefined why because here you can observe very clearly so what our function is doing is it itself is calculating the result and itself it is pushing a message the result value within the alert and what we are doing here is we are attaching a function to a variable called res and we are printing that res so as of now this method is only pushing message is it itself is pushing message to the end user telling like the result is this but there is no necessity of printing this res again so instead of doing like this we can pass we can just call the function by its name followed by the parameters so here we get the output 50 and the undefined is gone so why we got the undefined if an explicit return is omitted so in our function we have not any return function and if we still attach our function to a variable and if we call that variable we will get the output as undefined so this is what about the functions is we learned like how to define a function how to call a function and also we'll learn some of the key points related to function i hope you understood so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Ankh Pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for the reference of our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day